Good afternoon. Welcome to Zoomer Hall, live from the Zoomer Plex in downtown Toronto, Toronto's West End. Very excited to be with you. My name is Mark Wigmore, host of the Oasis here on the new Classical FM, which can be heard between 3 and 7, a little later today. Today we have what is going to be a brilliant showcase of piano works from a talented, talented performer, Ishai Shair is becoming one of the leading pianists of his generation. His recitals have taken place in Zurich, Warsaw, Chicago, and Brazil, all over the world. He's accompanied large ensembles like the Israel Philharmonic, the BBC National Orchestra of Wales, the National Symphony Orchestra in Chile, and dates in Lausanne and Frankfurt. Ishai released a Beethoven recording in 2017, and later this year, his latest project will be released featuring the works of Robert Schumann and Stephen Heller. And so we're so thrilled he is here with us, taking some time out of a busy season, and it's a lovely afternoon program of Bach. That's where we'll start, and Chopin today. Let's listen. It's Ishai Shair, live from Zoomer Hall.
absolutely wonderful here in the early afternoon, the first three movements of Bach's Partita, number one in B-flat major, and Ishai Shair is with us, the brilliant pianist, and we've got a lovely program for you over the next uh, hour. More Bach and Chopin to come, and you're with the new Classical FM. We are live in Zoomer Hall for our concert series. My name is Mark Wigmore. Uh, Ishai, welcome to Zoomer Hall in the new Classical FM. Great to be with you. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, wonderful. I mean, beautiful moments from Bach's partita number one. He's quite famous uh, for his partitas, for violin, for vi piano, keyboard in his day. Yeah. Um, w what's your relationship with that repertoire and, and with Bach over the years? Well, actually, Bach was uh, my, first, my first musical love, I would say. He was uh, definitely the composer I, I fell in love with first as a child. Um, what I really loved in the beginning was... Uh, the the concept of polyphony and counterpoint yeah uh, I don't know I was I was fascinated by that um, so I think the secrets of the universe are held in in what he was able to do feels like it yeah. <laughs> it does doesn't it uh, we mentioned some of your concert highlights off the mm -hmm. top uh, moments ago soloist with orchestra with chamber ensemble uh, your career uh, tell us a little bit about it. I mean it, there's some time spent in Tel Aviv uh, in conjunction with the Israel Philharmonic who a great supporter of yours um, how did you come to the piano in the first place well it actually it started with my uh, older sister she started to Thank like goodness before. for older sisters. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so we had a piano, and we also had, um, like, uh, an electric organ uh, with two keyboards and a pedal keyboard. Right. And, uh, and of course, as, as a three-year-old, I preferred that because it was much more, you know, interesting to me. And I also thought, you know, it had a piano sound. I mean, it had a button that said piano, and That's supposedly right. it had a piano sound, so I thought, well... So what's, what's they, the advantage of the? Did the they other make one? you wear headphones, or did they, were you allowed to play full full volume around the household? Yeah, I think it, it wasn't a problem. Okay, yeah. that's good. I'll, I'll, and 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 was there a turning point in your life where you thought, okay, this is the path for me. I'm I'm good enough. I've got the support structure. I feel like this is something I'm actually going to do. Yeah. So as a as a teenager, I never thought I was going to become a professional pianist. I was studying and I loved it, but I thought it was going to, to stay a hobby. And then I went to university and I started studying uh, computer science. And after one semester, I figured, you know, I, I just missed music too much. Mm. And that was the turning point, well, the most significant turning point. Uh, I want to ask, just because you've had some incredible instructors over the years, Daniel Berenboim, an absolute legend, Vladimir Ashkenazi, Murray Pariah, huge names. Um, I, does, do those me names mean anything when you're actually learning from them, or is it just, uh, the, the, I'll take the instruction as it comes kind of thing? No, well, there are, the three of those that you mentioned are great musicians, so I don't think it's really about the, the being a big name. Yeah. I also had uh, great instructors who were well, less of... Sure. You know, less. Probably more important to your career, I would think, yeah. Well, and, and you, you learn something from, from everyone. everyone uh, most people I've, I've learned with have, have contributed something you know, different. And, of course, people like uh, Barnboim and, uh, and uh, Ashkenazi uh, you know, have very busy schedules, so... You, you try your best to pick up what you can in, in the little time that you have. Yeah, yeah. It, it is special, though, and we're having a special afternoon. We're going to get back to Bach. It is Ishai Shair in performance live at Zimmer Hall, and you're with the new Classical FM. More of the Partita Number 1 in B-flat major.
And wrapping up our performance of Vox Partita number one in B flat minor, the Saraband, the Menuet, and the very playful Gig to finish. And we are live at Zoomer Hall within the brilliant uh, Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto and a brilliant pianist in Ishai Shair. Uh, Ishashir.com, by the way, if you'd like to learn more about his season and tour. My name is Mark Wigmore. In just moments, we'll get to uh, his recordings. We'll talk about uh, Beethoven, Schumann, what's coming up, and, of course, music and a wonderful set of Chopin's preludes. Live at Zoomer Hall, returning here on the new Classical FM. And welcome back to Zoomer Hall. We are live in the Zoomerplex in downtown Toronto. My name is Mark Wigmore here as we are enjoying a brilliant showcase of piano works from a very talented performer, Ishai Shayer. And uh, he's been showing us why he's in so much demand all around the world. His recitals have taken him to Zurich. We mentioned a few of these, Chicago, Brazil, Warsaw. Uh, he's just been on tour through Europe. We're going to hear more about that. He's worked with some incredible people. And uh, we're going to talk about his recordings coming up next. But I think we should get back to some music. We started the program with Bach's Partita Number 1. We are on to the Chopin Preludes. It is Ishai Shayer at live at Zoomer Hall here on the New Classical FM.
And that is why there are competitions all over the world where uh, we test the pianist with Chopin's Preludes, Opus 28, number 15 and 16 right there. And if you're just joining us, you're with the new Classical FM. My name is Mark Wigmore here on a Thursday afternoon, live from Zoomer Hall. Very, very exciting. Ishai Shair is with us. He's performed all over the world, a selection of the finest orchestras, chamber ensembles, certainly a soloist in recital, as we're finding out today. Uh, we are enjoying Chopin for the rest of the program. And Ishai, welcome back. Thank you. Great to be with you. Do you love playing the Chopin Preludes? I love them. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And, and we can see that joy, and uh, you're expressive I hope there. So. That's good. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, your first major recording is, is Beethoven, so you started easy. Is that what the idea was to <laughs> go simple at the beginning? Not just Beethoven, but late Beethoven. <laughs> right. So, yeah. yeah, and that was 2017. Yeah. And uh, so it's been a life on the road for you, very much so. And, and now you've gone back to the recording studio and, and you'll have something for us later this year. Yeah, so this summer I'm going to record with a wonderful violinist. His name is, uh, he's Dutch, so forgive me for the pronunciation. That's right. <laughs> but his name is Jeroen Dupont. Okay. And uh, we're going to record uh, uh, sonata by Enescu, violin sonata number the Romanian, three by Romanian Inescu. composer, yeah. Yeah, great Romanian composer, wonderful music, really worth listening to. And uh, 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 violin sonata by Ravel. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ravel can be so beautiful, but can also be very challenging. And we, we forget that about it when we only hear the hits sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. he, w he could be very expressive and, and a, r a real explorer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's amazing the, the combination of... Uh, you know, the, the control of colors, color that he had with the architecture together, really one of a kind. So you'll be recording that uh, a little later uh, in the season, but you've also got a record that will be released later this year, we're hoping, for, and Schumann yes. material, is that right? Yeah, so that's uh, Schumann Etudes Symphonique, uh, Symphonic Etudes, plus uh, a piece that basically nobody knows from a composer that it's not very well known, but his name is Stefan Heller. This, the idea is that he will become better known because of I, you. I am hoping because yeah. th this piece is really amazing, I find. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I love including some of these lesser-known composers because it's, well, it's wonderful for you because you get to explore. Because it is, you do run into, you, you are asked to take on a repertoire that we're familiar with all around the world. And so for you, it's, you're able to, to stretch your muscles a little bit and try something else. Yeah, yeah, and to get to know, you feel like you get to know a new person, not just... Uh, yeah. Because we're used to playing the same, I don't know, let's say 10 composer, composers most of the time. So... That's right. Every time we have an opportunity to really get to know, it, it's, it's a big piece as well. And he had a very interesting uh, relationship with Schumann. So... It's really interesting. We're excited. Uh, that So that's a record out later this year, and then we'll be looking uh, for a new recording uh, that will be put down in 2024. Do you like spending time in the recording studio? I mean, it, where, I do. where does it stand compared to live performance? I do. Of course, it's very different. The energy is different. Um, you have more than one take. So... Um, but, but you're that able can be to tricky too, right? Your mind starts to play games yeah, in that yeah, situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you think like, oh, I've got three days. I didn't <laughs> order to hurry. And then it's over all of a sudden. And I want to do this again. I want to do that. Yeah, That's right. So. And, and it, you just start to split hairs once you're on the hundredth take, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, we are so enjoying the Chopin Preludes. I think we should get back to it. We are live from Zoomer Hall here at the New Classical FM. Here again, Ishai Shair in performance this afternoon.
Just absolutely dazzling, and Chopin's Preludes, Opus 28, number 17 through 19. That is what we just heard, and we are spending an hour live with pianist Ishai Shair, live at Zoomer Hall here at the New Classical FM, and we've heard about the collaborations, the upcoming recordings. My name is Mark Wigmore, and when we return, more of the Chopin Preludes, of course, and a couple of stories from the road including cellist Misha Maisky and Maria Jao Pires included in that uh, storyline. So we'll get to that live from Zoomer Hall, returning here on the new Classical FM. Welcome back to the Zoomerplex, live in downtown Toronto. My name is Mark Wigmore, here on a Thursday afternoon. Great to be with you, as we are enjoying a brilliant pianist here this afternoon in Isha Shair. And for the full hour here on the program, his seasons have been filled over the last uh, several years, playing with major orchestras in Europe, North and South America, chamber ensembles, and recital. And he has a new record out later this year, and will record again in 2024. Let's return to the Chopin Preludes, Opus 28, and we will hear number 20 through 22.
Incredible, as we are enjoying the Chopin Preludes, Opus 28, and we just heard number 20 through 22, Ishai Shair, in performance, and just fantastic. And if you are just joining us, you're with the New Classical FM. My name is Mark Wigmore. Here on a Thursday afternoon, we are live from Zoomer Hall with this great studio audience, and uh, Ishai Shair, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Great to be with you. Uh, you've been on the road. You've just been in uh, France and Germany, I think, uh, with Beethoven material. Is that right? Yeah, well, it was the first time I ever played the the Hammerklavier Sonata by Beethoven. Wow. Yeah, which was, you know, a big thing. It's it's one of the most intimidating works in the repertoire. So yeah. we we talk about we talked about some of the uh, superstar classical run-ins you've had. You've had two big names that you've worked with recently: uh, Misha Maisky, the legendary cellist and Maria Zhao Pires, uh, the pianist. So tell us a little bit about working with those two. Yeah, uh, well, with Misha Maisky, it was actually, I think it was back in 2009. Right. I played with him. We played at Beethoven Sonata. It was a very unusual opportunity. Okay. It was great. It yeah. was, uh, uh, he's, he's a very, very nice person, not only one of the best cellists in the world. So that helps. Yeah. That helps. Not just to be yelled at. Uh, and and uh, Maria Jao Pires. Yeah, that was last summer. Uh, it was a workshop with, uh, I think we were five pianists, uh, working with her, playing for her, and discussing uh, performance. And it was really a fantastic week. Um, she has that incredible clip where she shows up. Maybe you've seen it on YouTube and she's practiced the wrong repertoire with full studio, yeah, she <laughs> full plays. orchestra, and she had to remember uh, just in the back of her brain how to... Have you ever run into that situation where... Not exactly, but I, but I, had, to, I had to study a Mozart concerto from scratch yeah, within two days to play it with the Israel Philharmonic. My goodness. That was, yeah. That is a lot. That was the, the, the closest uh, <laughs> yeah, I got to. That's yeah. pretty good. Um, and you've got a, a trio you're working on as well. Seems like you've got endless projects going on. I, yeah, I've just uh, very recently found, uh, founded a trio with two, with the violinist I told you about before. That's right. Yeah, Jérôme Dupont and uh, the cellist is Emanuela Silvestri. He's the principal cellist of the Rotterdam Philharmonic in the, ne the Netherlands. Not too shabby. A fine organization. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very, very fine musicians, and I'm very excited about it. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, it's just nice to have different options as a touring artist, right? To be able to yeah. take these different outfits out on the road. And I love playing chamber music as well as solo, so yeah, it's great. I would love to see you play chamber music one day. I hope that will happen. And you have a little time in Toronto. You've got performance in Ottawa, so it's nice that you get to spend a little time. Hopefully the weather's mm -hmm. going to treat you nice while you're here. Anything you're going to try and do? Ah, well, I I just played a concert yesterday after uh, coming here a couple of days ago, so I, I have a little time to think about it, but not that's great. No plans. Well, uh, enjoy our city, enjoy Southern Ontario. It has been such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you for being here. We are live from Zoomer Hall. Ishai Shayer in performance. We'll get back to Chopin.
Live from Zoomer Hall, wasn't it brilliant? It's been Ishai Shair in performance, the pianist with Chopin's Chopin Preludes, uh, Opus 28, number 23, and 24 to finish. And we want to say a big thank you to Ishai Shair for being here. <laughs> Stunning. Bravo. Look for him on tour. Look for him in recital on record, ishaishair.com. Thanks to our live studio audience. Thanks to our radio and television crew. And thanks to you for listening here at the New Classical FM. I'm Mark Wigmore back at 3 p.m. today with another edition of The Oasis. We'll look forward to seeing you again live from Zoomer Hall. <laughs>